we, we consulted our community quite a lot before we, we got into the design and we felt that what we did with Grid 2, whilst it was very successful at appealing to a very different audience, with Grid Autosport we wanted to uh, go back to making sure our, our core fan was, uh, was, was kept happy. So that meant a, a very definite shift to focusing on motorsport in general and we felt the name needed to reflect that, so uh, Grid Autosport. <laughs> Yeah, so the game's got uh, five disciplines in it that offer very, very distinct, unique experiences. So we have uh, touring cars, which are very much about um, close pack action, a lot of jostling, a lot of uh, aggression in the AI, really have to fight for every place. We've got uh, endurance racing, where races happen at night. You've got to factor in tyre wear and, and actually maintain concentration for eight to ten minutes. It's uh, quite a, a, a very different challenge. Uh, we've got uh, open wheel events, where the cars are quite lightweight, very powerful, lots of grip, but uh, they're not so good under collisions. You've got to be careful about your lines through the corners. Um, we have street racing, in, set in iconic city streets, lots of right angle corners, very narrow routes. Again, a lot of jostling with uh, the other cars. Um, and finally, tuna competitions where the cars are set up to be well focused on very very specific handling properties and um, very delicately balanced so uh, we have drifting competitions where the cars are set up to obviously go sideways and get a lot of a lot of flair um, there is also time attack competitions in there cars are set up for speed um, and handling through the corners and then finally within that there's also sort of traditional racing and those three things combined to make tuna competitions The RaceNet Clubs, it is a, it's a big feature that our community have, have long since asked for. Um, basically lets up to 100 people come together and form uh, a club, essentially, that has a, a, a combined identity. You have a livery that you race under, and as everybody's racing in that livery, they're earning points towards the, the success of the, the club as a whole, and then there's a, a, a big leaderboard that, that compares all the clubs. And it's, it's just an, an, a new way for our, our players to come together and, and compete. When it comes to uh, really creating that sensation of uh, being immersed in the race, we've added in a cockpit cam but coming back from uh, some of our previous games that really lets you see the world through the eyes of the, the racing driver and it's, it's, a, yeah, it's a big part of the, the game. There's also a load of other camera perspectives as well but uh, yeah, we think the, the cockpit cam really is the one that gives you the immersion. I think both Dirt and Grid, we're trying to create uh, authentic motorsport experiences. Um, they, they tackle different parts of motorsport, but yeah, I think the, the heart and the passion behind it remains the same. We want to create an authentic motorsport experience. Well, we just hope that uh, people that maybe haven't tried a Grid game before will, um, will give it a go. We're, we're work very hard to try and make it, even though it's uh, focused on motorsport, we want anyone to come and try it and I suspect they'll be, uh, they'll thoroughly love it. We also want our, all our fans to, uh, to come back and try it again because we really have, we've really tried very hard to get it, get back to our roots and um, yeah, get our core audience happy once again. Good Auto Sports uh, comes out the last week of June and it's available on PS3, 360 and on Steam.